Hello! Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're going to be talking all about different types of decor that you can make with very simple easy Dollar Tree supplies. So we're going to make potpourri holders, candle holders, you could do put decorative balls in it, whatever you would like and there's it is so easy. It can be a five minute craft. So if you want to have some fun today, let's get started. This decoration is one that you can make from Dollar Tree Supplies using a candle holder jar tumbling tower game and some potpourri or you could use a candle i'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up these cute little blocks and we're going to start assembling them around the jar now it takes five for the Dollar Tree jars. Now, depending on what size of jar, you may have to adjust this, but you just wanna have a little bit of space in between each one. And then you put glue on both ends of the little block and then start putting them together. And the assembly is really fast. You can put the whole thing together in about five minutes and so that is a great way, depending on if you paint your blocks ahead of time or if you plan to spray paint them like I do after they're completely assembled. So we're just gonna alternate every other block and there's a couple of ways that you can even do this. And I'm showing you the one that is a little bit of a stair step. So as you can see, my next block, my very bottom block, is not lined up 100% even with the next one. I'm gonna just move it over just slightly each time so that this is gonna look like it's tearing up. You can do it where it's right exactly over if you want to, it just depends on what style. And I'm gonna show you both ways, but it's definitely one easy, fun craft to do. So, just keep on layering and depending on how high up you want to go I usually go about a third of the way up the jar so that I can still see the potpourri inside or the candle I absolutely love this I, I decided I wanted to make something I just am refinishing my guest bathroom blue and gold and I thought you know I want a nice gold decoration to go on the back of the toilet and Potpourri is a great thing to have in a bathroom, and I just wanted something gold. So that's where I came up with this idea. And then once I made it and I put the potpourri in, I love the smell. It's just so subtle. I haven't been using potpourri for a while, and I realized it's just so subtle and it makes, makes a nice scent. I really think I want to put one in every room of my house and just design it according to that room where it can be the main focus of the room or it can be just a subtle thing behind some books so i'm going to show you a lot of different ways and in fact this one i am going to go ahead and go halfway up so there it is where it's t kind of a stair step look so that's one way that you can create this fun decoration. Now, one thing that I do suggest is taking a hair dryer to your block of wood once you get it done to get all those little fine strings of hot glue. And this is the one thing I you you don't really see every single one of them until you spray paint. And if there's even one left, it just looks like it's a spider web or something. So, you definitely want them gone and to try to pull them all out, it's just so much easier to blow them with the hair dryer and make them melt off. Okay, then I'm going to use my Dollar Tree bag and I'm going to seal off the top so when I spray paint that it won't get on the glass and then wrap it with some tape, just a straight line 
all the way around the bottom and then secure it again with another row of tape just to make sure it's going to stay nice and tight and then go to a nice ventilated area outside is best and spray away as you can see i was filming myself here <laughs> okay now we're in focus here we go now you can do any color you want and I love to do silver, gold, blue, pink. There really is a lot of different ways that you can do it. Here's my gold one, and as you can see with this one, I line the blocks exactly straight over each other so they go completely straight up and down. That's another way that you can do it. And then all you have to do is add a little potpourri, and I love how the Dollar Tree potpourri has a flower in each one. It looks so pretty right on top, and there you go. That's all it takes to make a beautiful decoration for, I love them. I'm going to put one in every bathroom. Now you can use different types of jars. They don't have to be the dollar store candle holders. I started going through all my flower jars and, and realized I have quite a few different sizes, shapes, colors, and every single one can work. You just adjust your blocks according to the size. So I just realized, hey, I'm gonna recycle some of my flower jars. Now, another thing that you can do is put some thumbtacks on the very top, some push pins, I guess, right on the top of the blocks to add a little more pizzazz to it. Now, putting these push pins into the wood is not an easy thing. You definitely want to put those in using a hammer or it will wear your fingers out. And so I like to get those put in uh, before I even spray paint. So I'm going to show you how to do that. One thing that you're going to want is a magazine or a piece of cardboard or something because the push pins are just the tiniest little bit longer than the wood. So it'll poke out right at the bottom. So you don't want to do that without having some sort of cardboard underneath it or else it'll prick your table. And we don't want that. So I like to just very care lightly push in enough to mark my spot and then take a pair of needle nose pliers. I didn't have any needle nose pliers right handy, but I had a, it doesn't matter what kind of pliers. <laughs> Grab some pliers and hammer that in and that's all there is to it. See how it's just a tiny little bit through? So I love this. This, you can do it with just one bead push pin or two or you could alternate it it's just a way to make it a little bit more interesting now here's another one I found this square uh, flower vase I actually taped it off so that I could have some stripes and then added one pin and then two pins and I alternated this time I'm gonna make this one pink because again I realized I want one in every room of my house so depending on what color scheme I have going on I will use that color in that room. So peeling off the tape to see how the look of the stripes work. This actually would be really a fun thing to do for during Christmas time to have a candy cane looking one doing red and white or just keep it clear and red. That would be really fun and maybe put some peppermint scented potpourri inside or peppermint you know, just add the peppermint scent to your potpourri. The thing that I love about it is you can add different potpourri according to your holiday. I did figure out that if I stuff in some paper towels, then I don't go through quite so much potpourri and I can just add it to the top. And then one bag can go for a lot of different projects. And I do like to add my own scents to the potpourri when they start to not have that pretty smell anymore. So I don't care that it's full of potpourri because I'm just going to add scents to it anyway. Now here's a more bronze colored looking one. That's what my son and daughter-in-law, that's the colors they have in their kitchen. Once I started going, it's just so easy and so fun to do. I started realizing, hey, I think I better, I, I know this person and that person that need one of these too. I just kept going. So this would make a real fun fall decoration in a bookshelf and then I love white I love to decorate with white so I of course needed to make myself a white one 
I'm not sure even where I'm going to put this yet, but it would go really anywhere. Now, one thing that I figured out was the color of my vase on this one, I didn't really love the color with the pink. So I went ahead and taped over it and sprayed it over. And this time I just added a cream color so that it didn't clash so much. Now, as I said, you could use any size or shape or color of jar and you just start playing like you're playing a game of Legos and put your little pieces down. Uh, on this particular one, I didn't glue them down because I just wanted to show how easy it is. Now, the other thing that you can do is add some elastic to the top, just crisscrossing all over the place. Then when you spray paint, it can spray paint the jar partially. And it really is nice to do if you want to add some little fairy lights in your potpourri and to have a little, set a little mood in your bathroom or your living room, wherever. So I absolutely loved doing the elastic and I put star lights in, inside my potpourri. Okay, so there we go again. Now, oh, I forgot to show you that you can add beads to the top and again, you don't have to go all the way up. It can just go a little ways or halfway or two quarters of the way, whatever, however you want to do it. Now the square ones, you just put them on a little bit differently, but just play with it until you can see that you can get it every other one and just keep on going until it forms up closer to the top, you know, the middle of the jar. So as you can see, I am just a little bit obsessed with this. The other thing I did was I got out my unicorn spit and I actually painted some of the blocks different colors to see how it looked when they were all different colors and that was very fun to do and I will say that um, I painted those blocks before I glued them on. Now you can use different colors of candles and completely change the look as well and that's one thing that I like about using silver and gold and then I can just add a colored candle or colored potpourri to go with the season of, of the time. Okay, and then my last thing are these acrylic gems. Oh, how I love acrylic gems. They just glam up everything. And get those from the Dollar Tree. And on this particular one, I'm just gonna add them periodically, just here and there, to give it a little extra pizzazz. And as you can see, it will just kind of sparkle with when I have the candle lit or, you know, the, the light of the room. It will just add a little extra flare. So, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell to all so that you can be notified when I put up new content. And there we have it some of the most glamorous potpourri holders and so reasonably priced. I was able to use one bag of potpourri for all these different candles and well potpourri holders. So there we have it. It is so fun to add any color that just kind of crosses your mind as yeah this is the color I want to do and look at how glamorous it can look. Even you could do one for a child's room with lots of fun colors. This has to be my favorite, easiest craft that I've done for a long time. Wasn't that a blast? I absolutely love being able to make crafts that are fast, easy, and effective. And I have decided that I want to put a jar with potpourri in every room of my house. So that's why I made a lot of different colors. I'm going to put one in every bookshelf, in the bathrooms, everywhere. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, hit a like and share it out where you can. Don't forget to ring that bell to all so that you'll be notified when I put up new content and I'll see you all soon.